Hi everyone. Have you ever been working in a project or in a business and not getting everything that you need out of the people that you're working with? People make the world go round and you need people in your business to do their jobs properly or in different ways to get the things done that you need to get done. And this is where the stakeholder engagement assessment comes into play and it's such a wonderful tool that will really help you figure out where you need to focus on in order to get the things that you need in your project or in your business. The way it works is like this. We've got our stakeholders down one side, we might have Billy down one side and we might have Anne for example. Now we, what we want to do is look at these five different buckets that we've got our people to be potentially in. They might be unaware of us or our project, they might be resistant to us or our project, they might be neutral so they may not care either way, they may be supportive of us or our project, or they might be really taking the charge and leading for us and our project. And what we want to do is figure out where they currently are, C for current. So is Billy currently resisting the change? Maybe he is. But where do we actually need him to be in order to get things done? We need him to be supportive. Same for Michael, maybe he's just neutral. And maybe Anne actually doesn't know that the project exists at all, but we need her to be leading this project for, for it to have success. So this is a really useful tool and once you're aware of this technique you will use it all the time whether you use a template or even if you just keep it in your own head. But we're going to create this template in Excel so you can use it in your own business and it's going to be a whole bunch of fun. Let's get into it. Now as always we're just going to do the initial coloring and framing of our sheet and as we do this we might speed it up ever so slightly so we can get into the really good stuff of creating the stakeholder engagement assessment itself. For the second row what we're going to do is just have our project name. For our second one it's actually just a little bit of instruction where we're saying the C is the current state and D is our desired state and place a C and a D in each row next to each stakeholder. Now that we've done that, we can start putting the borders around our area so we know what we are working with. Let's just use a thick box border at first for each of these, that way that's going to be quite nice. And even a thick box border around the next section which is going to be our heading section. Then for the rest of our areas, let's put a thick box border around that as well. Now once we've done that, what we want to do is select all of our area and go to more borders and what we want to do is just do a nice vertical line for all of these so we can make that vertical line and that fills that out automatically. And then for our horizontal lines, let's do the same thing, go back to more borders and we can either do a dashed line or we can do a lighter, maybe a lighter grey horizontal line there uh, and now that one is all filled in. Now we can go to view and remove the grid lines and that way that's all done for us. Now one last thing is if we want multiple uh, people to be in the same area or team then we can do a little team area down the side here as well. Now our stakeholders section, let's color that nice, a nice deep blue with the text white and that just in the middle, make that a little bit larger. Now our stakeholders section, let's make that a nice beautiful sandy color. We'll have that in the center and in the middle with the guys over to the right hand side and indented a little bit. We'll make the text just a, a little bit of a dark grey and now we can start inputting all of these people in that we need to for our project. Next we want to put in the actual headings for our assessment itself. So we've got unaware, we've got resistant, we've got neutral, we've got supporting and we've got leading. And for all of these let's put them in the center and in the middle. We'll color this that beautiful turquoise color and increase it ever so slightly so it's a nice heading. Make the text white and bold and now we're really looking good for our stakeholder engagement assessment matrix. One last thing for if we want all of these guys to be in the same team, let's merge and center this little section over here and if we right click and format those cells then what we want is for the alignment to just be 90 degrees and if we say OK there and this is team 1 for example and if we put that in the middle and increase that ever so slightly maybe give ourselves that, that dark grey text so it's quite nice there. Now all of these people can be in the same team and grouped together if they need to be. 
Now finally what we want to do is our current and desired states and we want to color these in the right way. So we select all of our area, go to conditional formatting and we want a new rule here. So we want cells that contain specific text containing a C and for our C maybe we will make the, the fill maybe just a, a light, light blue. And the font color can be maybe just a bit of a darker blue. So that way that, that's quite nice and that will stand out. And if we select OK and OK, now if we put a C in this one, it will color that field for us. But we do just want the, the text to be in the center and in the middle and increased ever so slightly so it's a little bit nicer. Uh, and now that's looking quite a lot better. Now secondly, we want to go back and manage our rules, select a new rule, and we want cells that contain the specific text of D for desired. Now for that one, let's make the fill just a little bit of a darker, a darker blue there. And the font for this one can be a white font because it's uh, going the other way. And if we apply that, now if we put a D in that cell, it's going to color it nice and differently for us. Now you can color these any way you want and whatever suits the theme that you're working with. For us, that looks a lot nicer. Now we can also color the team area and make sure that that's just in the same theme that we're after. And now all together, you and I have created this beautiful stakeholder engagement assessment matrix, something that you can take, create, and use in your own business or your own project straight away and get the immediate benefits from using this powerful, beautiful tool. I've really enjoyed spending the time with you working on this spreadsheet today, and I hope you've enjoyed yourself as well. I'll see you in the next video and bye for now.